bees. They may bug you during the summer, but we desperately need these creatures. They are crucial to pollinating crops. How crucial? One out of every three bites of food you eat exists because of pollination. That's fresh produce, nuts, and, yes, your cup of coffee. Think about it this way. Honeybees alone pollinate more than 100 types of fruits and vegetables. But a bacterial disease called American fowl brood is now destroying bee colonies at alarming rates. Annette Kleiser, CEO of Delon Animal Health, says something must be done. It's found in approximately 50% of beehives, that's the estimate, around the world. So it, it, it can lay dormant for many, many decades. And all of a sudden, if there's another stressor, if there's anything else that happened, you know, it, it's like we, we, we know that from us, we can all of a sudden get sick. And that happens also uh, to the bees. Currently, there is no cure for this disease. Once foul brood is detected, beekeepers have to destroy the hive or use antibiotics, which can have some nasty side effects. That comes with many, many problems, antibiotic resistance, contamination of honey. Uh, it weakens the microbiome of, of, of the honeybees. Uh, they can get other diseases because they, they, their immune system is, is compromised. But over the last few years, Annette and her team have developed a promising vaccine that the U.S. Department of Agriculture just conditionally approved. We take the disease-forming bug, kill it, we inactivate it. We put it in something that is called queen candy. It's a, it's a sugar paste that is given to the queen. So if she's vaccinated, she passes that vaccine on to all the eggs that, that she lays in the entire colony is, is then protected. Currently, Delon is seeking state-by-state -state approval for the vaccine, focusing on the large breeding areas like California and states along the Gulf Coast. And this is not just important for commercial beekeepers. This vaccine could be an absolute game changer for, well, all of us. These animals are really critical. They're really important and we all rely on them and we have to take care of them. It's a real existential survival critical issue for, for everybody around the world. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.